What's up everybody, Camero here, and welcome to part 26 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be looking at character art. I'm going to show you how to update your character's art and change it so that way your character looks different in-game. I'm also going to show you how to implement character outfits so that way you can change how your character looks in-game. And then I'm also going to briefly touch upon how to implement characters that are a different size, such as the Pokemon NPCs or the trainers from Pokemon Black and White. So with that said, let's get into it. The very first thing you want to do is go into your PBS folder and open your metadata.txt. And along the top here are the definitions for your male trainer and your female trainer. Your male trainer uses the sprite TRCAR000, which will be in your graphics characters folder which is just this file right here. And the female uses TRCAR001, which is also in the graphics characters folder. All of these other sprites here, boy bike, boy surf, boy run, these can be found in the graphics characters folder. If you scroll up a little bit, I scrolled up a little too much there. Um, there they are. So the girl uses girl bike, girl dive, girl fish, girl fish surf, girl run, girl surf offset. And then the boy uses all of those, boy bike, boy dive, boy fish, boy fish surf, boy run, boy surf. So if you want to update the way your character looks, you're going to want to change all of these files, as well as how they look in the overworld, such as the 000 file, as well as the back sprites for when you enter a battle. If you're using Elite Battle System, your back sprite will look something like this. If you're not using Elite Battle System, it'll look something like this. So you'll want to update these as well. So let me show you something really cool first, and then we'll get into updating the way that our sprites look. One thing that you can do that's like a really quick uh, way to change the way your character looks is just change the number here in the TR car if you want to make your character like somebody, look like somebody else. So if we want to make our character look like a Team Rocket guy, we could do TR car 056 because in our folder, that's what our Team Rocket guy is. So if I launch the game after making that quick change, you'll see that our main character when walking around is a Team Rocket guy. If I choose to run though, it'll still be using the boy underscore run uh, sprite, which goes back to our default red. So let me show you this. There we go. So now I'm a Team Rocket guy, just from changing that one little line in the metadata. If I run though, you'll see I go back to being red. The reason for that is my my walk sprite looks like Team Rocket. My run sprite does not. Pretty simple. So let's change back to default. Zero, zero, zero. Cool. And let me show you something that's really cool for how to recolor easily, as well as how to have different outfits. So what I've gone and done, and as I've, I've already made a blue version of our trainer, and... Um, I saved it as trcar000 underscore one. So similar to how we did alternate forms or mega Pokemon, you can do the same for your trainer where the default is just zero with nothing afterwards. But if you wanna have an alternate form for your trainer, which, in, which is an outfit, then you can do underscore one. And the reason you do underscore one is because you can use events to change your character's outfit number and that's where the underscore and then the number comes. So there is an event that you can call in game, which is dollar sign trainer dot outfit equals zero. So you do this in a script command. So this number at the end is the number of your outfit. By default, when you start the game, your character's outfit is zero, but you can call this to change it to zero, one, two, any number you want. So this event changes it to outfit one, this event changes it to outfit two, and you can do this for all of your sprites. So this is my walking sprite. If we want, we can make a back sprite that's 000 underscore one, a running sprite that's 000 underscore one. So I'm gonna do that right now, actually. What I'm gonna do is quickly repaint this so that way it's our blue colors similar to the underscore one. So let me do this real quick. An easy way to do that in Photoshop, I'm not exactly sure how to do it really easy in paint besides using the paint bucket tool. Uh, which you can use to just, you know, quickly paint colors. Um, but a really easy way to do it in Photoshop is to do select color range 
and then click on the color you want to select and it just selects all of that color in the image. And then what I can do is go to my other image, which has the blue, and then take that color and just draw it all in here. So I'm going to do this a couple times while talking to you about something else. The other thing I want to talk to you about is you can change your character to be anything as long as they are a perfect rectangle. I mean, a perfect grid, if that makes sense. What I mean to say is every single character sprite sheet has 16 pictures where it's four facing down, four facing left, four facing right, and four facing up. So it's a four by four grid. As long as every single tile of this four by four grid is the exact same size, you can make your character anything. So if you put in a character that's a new size, as long as they're this 4x4 four four grid, it will work. They might look a little bit bigger or weird in-game, like out of size. I'll show you later. Um, but yeah, as long as they're part of that grid, then you can put really any character art you want. So don't feel restricted. So I'm almost done painting over our boy run using our select color all image. Cool. So now what I want to do is file save as. I don't want this to be boy run. I want this to be boy run underscore one. So now if I change my outfit in game to outfit number one and I run, I will be blue. So let's show that off. Let's go and load our game and let's run our event commands that change our outfits. And then after that, I'm also gonna change to outfit two where I've implemented the uh, Pokemon black and white trainer, which is kind of cool. So here we are in game. I'm right now my outfit is zero. I use this and my outfit is still zero. I use this and my outfit is now one. So I'm blue because I've got the underscore one. And then if I run, I have boy run underscore one now. So if I go back to outfit zero and I run, I'm blue again. I mean, I'm red again. So outfit one, I'm blue. Get out of the way, NPC. <laughs> All right, so another outfit that I've implemented is the black and white sprite, which I'll go over now. Outfit two, now look at me, I'm all big. I look a lot, I look out of place in this world. All the doors are too small for me. So if you do wanna make your character bigger, you're probably gonna wanna use a bigger tile set as well, so that way your character isn't like huge compared to the door. But yeah, let me open up the, uh, the sprite sheet for that. So, like I said before, you can put in any sprite you want as long as it fits that, uh, that rectangle, I mean, that, that grid rule, which this does. Every single square of this grid is a 64 by 64 image. So you can see here, 64 by 64. So there are, f there are 16 64 by 64 pictures here, where four of them are facing down, four of them are facing left, four of them are facing right, and four of them are facing up. And the other sprites, such as this one, they're not 64 by 64, they are 32 by 48. So there are four of those facing down, four of those facing left, four of those facing right, and four of those facing up. So, yeah, if you want to change your character's outfit, or you want to change the character sprites, then definitely follow these rules. Um, you can, like I said before, easily recolor them and then save them as like underscore one, underscore two. Um, there are a couple other pictures that you're going to want to edit though. Like if you want your character to be blue by default or green or yellow or whatever, then um, you'll also want to go into your graphics pictures folder and change two files. One of them being intro boy, like by default, this is the picture that shows up when you're selecting your character. Like, like, oh, are you a boy or a girl? Oh, you're a boy. Um, you're going to want to update this to be blue or green or red. Um, I guess it by default is red. Um, if you're changing the way your character looks. And you're also going to want to change map player 000. When you look at a map, this is the head that shows up on the square that you're in. So if your character has a blue hat, you know, you're going to want to update this to a blue hat. But yeah, that said, other those are really all the things that go into changing the way your character looks. It's kind of just a lot of busy work. Like if I want to make my character have a blue costume and then a green costume and then a yellow costume, you're gonna need to do a lot of painting over the fishing and the surfing and the fish surf, you know, the bike and the run. So it's just kind of a pain, 
but it's very, very easy. It just takes a long time, if that makes sense. And I highly, highly recommend using soft Photoshop or GIMP or paint.net. Links to those will be in the description. And yeah, that's, that's it for me. Hopefully this video helped you out. Hopefully it made sense. Um, just definitely mess around with paint and see what you can do, you know, get creative, make your own characters. So with that said, thank you for watching. Like I said before, hopefully this video helped you out. Um, be sure to follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Join the Thundaga Discord for more easily accessible discussion. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.